McDonald's is one of the most recognizable brands in the entire world. We all know McDonald's. And I'm being serious, I'm pretty sure there's not a single person watching this right now that has not heard of McDonald's. Hate the like button if you've never heard of McDonald's before. And nobody lie. You'll, you'll, you'll mess up my experiment. I need accurate data for this. You may all know what McDonald's is, but I highly doubt very many of you know about the McDonald's games I have to show you today. I have no idea how a business this large and profitable has official video games that are this weird and disturbing. Only McDonald's, he. Um, what was that? Only McDonald's, he. What? Honestly, it doesn't make any sense. But I guess realistically, companies make bad decisions all the time. For example, the company U2s decided to work with me to make my very own official peanut butter gamer U2s. Have you ever wanted to spend money on something you don't need? Well, now you can. Wow! Not only does my official Peanut Butter Gamer U2 serve no practical purpose whatsoever, it also looks like me! Whoa. That's cool, right? Go to U2s.com or use my link in the description below and give Mini Peebs a little spin because why not? Buy yours today! Don't even think about it! Buy one! Buy two! You can never buy enough Peanut Butter Gamer U2s because once they're gone, they're gone for good! Get up. Seriously though, this thing is really cool. I never thought I'd have my own official vinyl figure, but hey, it's a crazy world and here we are. So if you want one of your very own, use my link in the description below and get it before they're gone. And uh, it really helps me out a lot, so I appreciate it. Thanks. Up first, we have an Australian PC game from 1999, Mission to McDonald's Land. I can't find too much information about this online, but looking at the box, it seems like something that may have been sold directly in stores or maybe uh, in Happy Meals. It comes with a lot of coupons too, but they're the really crappy kind that are like, spend five dollars on a menu item and get an item that costs ten cents for free. What a deal! Deep space. Billions of galaxies. Squillions of stars. And always, we ask ourselves, could there be intelligent life? somewhere out there. You'd better believe it, gang. <laughs> okay, well, not exactly how I was expecting this to start, but whatever. Let's go! Ronald, apparently awake at 2.35 a.m., uh, hashtag relatable, by the way, gets a message from an alien. My name is Astor. I am from the planet McMars. I request special permission to visit you on a mission to McDonald Land. That's the name of the game. That, that's that's the name of the. He he, he said the name. He said the name of the game. And so our intrepid space traveler left his home planet. Woohoo! Woohoo! On the way to McDonald Land, Astor runs into Rex, the first dinosaur in space. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, I, I I I don't know. I don't know. I didn't write it. This this game is really weird. I, I did I mention that yet? Holy sh this was the most ridiculous intro I think I've ever seen. There was absolutely no music. Any music you heard was put in by me through the magic of editing. Besides the dialogue and the very few sound effects, there's absolutely no sound at all. It's just dead silent, which is made worse by the fact that all the characters just sit there frozen. But whatever, we've got some work to do now. We've got to fly around McDonald land and find the missing pieces to help fix Astor Store's spaceship. Hey everyone, playing in McDonald land is really easy once you've mastered a few simple steps. First, let's learn how to use the mouse. If you click on the ground or the sky, it'll make the main character stop and start moving. Holy crap! There's a lot more instructions than I was expecting in a freaking McDonald's game. It keeps going on like this for a whole minute and a half. If you're a child, that's like an hour. I'm starting to regret complaining about the characters not moving because Ronald bowing at me over and over is starting to give me the creeps. During his incredibly long spiel, Ronald mentions that your character can do special moves. What are those special moves? You're wondering? Well, you better not blink because because otherwise you might miss it. Nice. 
Now that's what I call a special move. So now the actual game has finally started. We can do stuff like play super basic mini games and click on nuggets to see them wiggle a tiny bit. Very cool. Or we could click on this calendar here and look at a man being impaled next to a guillotine. This game is brought to you by the McDonald's Corporation. But the main portion of the game involves jumping into Astor's spaceship and flying to different areas in McDonald land to find the pieces that broke off, even though they're already reattached. But whatever, I guess we don't need to think that hard about it. One of those areas includes, hands down, the most terrifying North Pole of all time. I admit there's probably been some situations in the past where I referred to something as quote unquote nightmare fuel, and I was being a little hyperbolic, but no. Not this time. What is this? <laughs> then there's Dinosaur Island. Welcome to Dinosaur Island. Absolutely spectacular design. Spared no expense. Spared no expense. Spared no expense. We spared no expense. They do move in herds. And last, we go to an underwater area to watch Grimace drown. But hey, at least his sad, slow death is accompanied by some beautiful music. That's it. I'm gonna die. I wanna light up your life, but I can't cause I'm stuck in these weeds. Help! Literally what the hell is going on? After repairing Astor's spaceship, you get to run around as Ronald on his home planet, McMars, where you'll be scarred for life after seeing Hamburglar get ripped apart by some burger monsters. <sighs> 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 more so by whatever this thing on the wall is. I did not edit that, by the way. That is actually how it sounds in game. So that is Mission to McDonald Land. I don't think I have ever in my entire YouTube career, I'm not being hyperbolic, played a game that left me as speechless as this one did. I mean, seriously, how am I supposed to commentate on this? This is possibly the worst game I've ever played. I found a full playthrough of Mission to McDonald Land on YouTube by user Cheapskate and looked in the comments and saw someone who claimed to be one of the people who worked on the game. I can no means confirm the legitimacy of this, but his name does appear in the credits and it seems legit enough to me. In a series of comments, he says things like, I made this terrible game. He found a copy of what sounds like a thrift store and started to play it then ejected the disc in horror at how awful it looked. I remember this one because I did it in four days without sleep to meet the deadline. Well, that explains it. And my favorite is a reply to someone where he says, you're welcome. I'm sorry, it was so awful. <laughs> I wonder if I'll be saying the same things to uh, people who watch my videos in like uh, 10, 20 years from now. Here's a preemptive, I'm sorry it was so awful for all of you in the future. Also, I just remembered I'm wearing the link hat. I, I, I was not planning on, I was not planning on wearing this for the rest of the video. Uh, oops. Up next, I have a Sega Genesis game called McDonald Land Treasure uh, Land Adventure. You see, I don't actually have a copy of the game to read the title off of because every copy of the game on eBay costs like $300, except for the copies that were shipping from China. For some reason, those were a lot cheaper. I have no idea why I would have got one of those, but it would have taken way too long to get here. But it doesn't matter. We've got another option. The story is pretty typical. Ronald finds a piece of a treasure map and goes on an adventure to find the rest of it. And so, with a piece of the map in his hand, Ronald begins his adventure. She spotted the clown scaring kids near her school. There's people running because they are scared about the clown. <laughs> 
And they should be scared about the clown because Ronald is a freaking murderer. He uses his magic powder attack. Uh, everyone remembers that one from the commercials, right? Correction, apparently Ronald does have magic powder powers, actually. We did a McDonald's commercial video on my other channel, Peebs, and uh, yeah, I, I, I have been proven wrong. He, he very clearly has magic sparkle dust powers. I didn't know about that. Also, I guess while I'm at it, check out that video if you want. Link in the description below. I remember when you took your first step. What step, first step? This commercial better end with Ronald eating them alive. <laughs> I thought it was pretty fun, but, you know, maybe I'm biased. I don't know. To kill everything in sight. He murders helpless forest animals. Blech. He murders cute, harmless-looking creatures. Blech. Even ones that are imprisoned inside of cages by a canon wicked circus owner. Blech. Blech. And towards the end of the game, he crash lands onto the moon and is like, why don't we all split up and look for someone to help the ship? And then proceeds to shoot every alien he sees on sight. Even when enemies attack him first, it's still a little bit disturbing. Like, sure, this guy is attacking Ronald, I get it, but after he breaks the shield, the guy puts up his hands like, oh no! And he just mercilessly kills him anyway. Ronald takes no prisoners. He even kills all other clowns clown on clown violence why ronald why this kill everything that moves ronald is pretty messed up but when you think about it is it any better than ronald in real life real life ronald kills you slowly with the food that he serves while video game ronald just kind of skips all that extra stuff and gets to the point overall the game looks pretty good the music and sound effects are decent and the controls are serviceable yet somehow this non-stop murder fest is still a little bit forgettable somehow but hey, at least it's better than Mission to McDonald Land. In fact, putting the two games side by side, it kind of makes the Sega Genesis one look like a, a, a freaking masterpiece, really. Going through the levels is a bit of a drag, but I did enjoy some of the super weird stuff that happens from time to time. You jump around on some bunny-eared ballet girls on a train track, get launched into space by a water, and then fight what is honestly one of the freakiest looking enemies I've ever seen. He's somehow even more disturbing once you shoot all the little heads off of him and he just waddles around with his, like, legs and arms and stick body. I could have lived my entire life without seeing this, to be honest with you. Can we just skip to the end, please? And so Ronald returned to McDonald land with all of his friends who kept quiet about the crimes against humanity that they had witnessed for fear of retaliation. For they all know firsthand what Ronald is truly capable of. <laughs> A little while ago on an episode of Goodwill Games, we played something called McDonald Land Silly Games. Well, I noticed in the corner of the box it said number one in a series, which means there has to be more of these games. And after doing a little bit of research, I discovered that there are indeed six games in total. And yes, I do now own all of them. I had to complete my, my collection, okay guys? This is important to me. If you don't have all six copies of the McDonald Land games in box unopened, are you really a true, true gamer? No! I wanted to play McDonald Land t-shirt fun, but uh, it didn't really work very well. Sometimes the audio loops on for forever, and other times it cuts off in the middle of a sentence. I'm he thinks I'll look right in a tank top. <laughs> Wait, isn't this a kid's game? FBI, open up! Fantastic! Fantastic! And sometimes it just straight up crashes. But it's not that interesting anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You pretty much just slap some stickers on a shirt and then watch a McDonald's character walk down the runway with it. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Birdie! Wow. This is really something. Please give a warm round of applause to today's designer. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm very glad that you, that you all thought that I did a good job.
So I guess we'll just have to play another one. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't know. Freaking... Card game party. That, that'll work. This game is very reminiscent of the previously mentioned McDonald Land silly games. Ronald, like God himself, hovers in the clouds above us, giving out instructions about what we can do. And what can we do? <laughs> Play cards. Just play cards, really. Mo that's pretty much it. First, there's classics like Go Fish, which is just a completely normal game of Go Fish, except that, uh, everyone's freaking staring at you the entire time. That's not the worst part about it, though. The worst part about it is that it's mind-numbingly boring. You don't even have to pay attention, because eventually the game will just start cheating for you. Duh, how'd you know I <laughs> had that card? Congratulations! You won! Uh, I knew you had the card because the game literally told me that you had it. And also, uh... I WIN, BABY! <laughs> Next, there's paint your cards. Oh, you're gonna just love it here. No! You're not going to. You just click on the, the balloons and then click onto the cards to change the colors of all the pictures on the cards. <laughs> that's all you- that's it. Then there's find a card. Where are you? Find a card. Or excuse me, find a card. I'm not sure why it's called that though, because it's literally just concentration, except for similar to the other card game, half the time it tells you what card to pick. So I'm not really sure what the point is. Now let's move on to Crazy 8. Hi, it's me. I'm so glad you picked Crazy 8 today, because the gang is down at McNugget Baby's Nursery School. <laughs> Those babies love to play Crazy 8s. Do they? Do babies really love to play Crazy Eights? I'm not so sure about that. The only thing I found interesting about this one is that I actually lost? I need a card. 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 Rubble, rubble. I can play. I won. I won. I won. Let's play again. All right, Hamburglar, this means war. Great choice. Oh, so you want to play war? Just a friendly little game of war. You know, in war, you've got to do everything you can to get all your enemies' possessions. Yes, you are hearing that right. This is the part of the game where Ronald McDonald teaches children literally about how war works. War. Well, not all out war. I mean, there are some rules, and they're not really your enemies. <laughs> it's just the McDonaldland gang. Part of me likes that they didn't pansy out and just actually called it war instead of, like, some watered-down name that doesn't sound as bad. But for today, we'll call it war. But realistically, if they had to do, like, a minute and a half of disclaimer explaining how it's not really war, it's not really war, uh, they, they, they might as well have just changed the name at that point. I don't know, something like... Battle? Battle? That would have worked, right? Battle? But no, it's war. <laughs> I love war. <laughs> I love war. <laughs> oh, poor me. So long. <laughs> it's been 19 minutes since I went one on one with the alien. I have the upper hand, but until we get that red rocket ace, we don't stand a chance of taking him out. We cut off all supply lines, but with a giant milkshake and 2,000 pounder in the background, he's got food for another year at least. After about 30 minutes, all sound effects and music stopped, but the game just kept going on. And on. And on. Until eventually... What happened? The game literally broke! I, I was gonna have him! I was I had him! He had three cards left! I was- I was gonna do it! I had him! Oh. Um, can you help me get out of here? Just be careful of the mines, please. War, 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 war. 
Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you a lot. If you want to see another video, why not check out this episode of Google Games where I talked about the McDonald Land Silly Games video. Or you can check out my second channel, Peebs, where I watched a bunch of McDonald's commercials recently. That was a good time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!